good morning students and welcome to today's class so in the last class we were doing subtraction with regrouping correct we did subtraction with regrouping in today's class we will do subtraction of three digit numbers all right so let's revise what is subtraction with regrouping first now if you remember in additions uh, when a number when we add two numbers in a place and sometimes it is greater than 9 correct it exceeds 9 so what we do we cannot uh, write a two digit number in one place so we regroup it and carry it over to the next higher place in the place value chart so that is called uh, carrying over but in subtraction what we do we need to change tens into ones or hundreds into tens so we called it as regrouping as borrowing okay so we borrow in subtraction and carry over in addition so we saw various examples of doing subtraction of numbers with regrouping so here we saw 27 minus 8 now what we do we subtract ones first correct so in ones we have 7 ones minus 8 ones but 7 ones is smaller than 8 ones so we cannot subtract so what we'll do, we'll borrow one ten from the tens place. Now in tens place, I have two. Okay. So from two tens, I borrow one ten. So this two tens, when I borrow one ten from it, how much will be left with two? Only one. So that two tens becomes one ten. And this one ten which we borrowed becomes ten ones. Ten ones plus seven ones is seventeen ones. So now I'll do seventeen ones minus eight ones. So 17 minus 8 is 9 and 1 minus 0 is 1. So 27 minus 8 is 19. Okay, so this was subtraction of by one digit numbers. Then we saw 43 minus 26. Now how will I do this? So first we'll write it in columns like this. Okay, in their place value charts. Now 3 1s minus 6 1s. I cannot do it. So what I'll do? I'll borrow 1 10 from the tens place in tens place we have four so when i borrow one ten from four that four becomes three and this three which is there in one's place becomes 13 ones so 13 ones minus six ones when i do i get six seven so i'll write seven in one's place and in tens place i have three minus two which is one so 43 minus 26 is 17 and we saw so this was how how we did subtraction with regrouping. Now we'll study subtraction of three digit numbers. So first we'll see how to do subtraction of three digit numbers without regrouping. That is without any borrow over. Okay, so first what we do now here we have to subtract seven hundred and sixty eight from fifty three. So first what we do is we always line up the ones, tens, and hundreds one below the other in place value chart. So 768 first we write. 8 in 1's place, 6 in 10's, 7 in 100's. And in 53 we have 3 in 1's and 5 in 10's. Correct. Now what we do? First we subtract the 1. So 8 minus 3. How much is 8 minus 3? 8 minus 3 is 5. So now we write 5 in the 1's column. Then in 10's place we have 6 and 5. So we subtract 6 minus 5 which is 1. So we write 1 in tens column. Then finally we subtract the hundreds. Now only 7 is there and in the next number there is no hundreds. Uh, hundreds digit only. So 7 minus 0 we consider it. So it will be 7. So 768 minus 53 is 715. So this is how you do subtraction of 3 digit numbers without regrouping. So let's see a few problems on this in your textbook and then we can do subtraction of three digit numbers with three grouping. So page number 118 in your textbooks. Okay. So here they have done the first ones. 578 minus 36. So we subtract the ones first. 8 minus 6 which is 2. Then 10. 7 minus 3, 4. And then the hundreds. 5 minus 0. 5. Okay, so now we have 387 minus 43. So here they have not written it in a place value chart. We have to write it. Okay, so uh, in 387 we have 3 in 100's place. Then 
then we have 8 in tens place and 7 in ones place. Correct, minus now 43. So we write 4 in tens and 3 in ones. So now we have written the number. Uh, so now what we do? We subtract the ones. Now what do we have in ones? In ones place we have 7 minus 3. How much is 7 minus 3? When you do 7 minus 3, you will get 4. So we will write 4 in ones column. Then tens place we have 8 minus 4. How much is 8 minus 4? 8 minus 4 is also 4. So we write 4 in tens column. Then 3 minus 0 is how much? It is 3 only. So we write 3 under hundreds. So the answer is 344. Okay, it is 344. Then we have 298 minus 75. So we write 2 in hundreds place, 9 in tens place and, and then finally 8 in ones place and then next 75 is there so we write 7 in tens place and 5 in ones place now what we do we do 8 minus 5 how much is 8 minus 5 8 minus 5 is 3 so we write 3 in ones place then we in tens place we have 9 minus 7 so 9 minus 7 is 2 and then in hundreds place we have 2 so that will be 2 2 and 223 so 298 minus 75 is 223 okay now question d and question e i want you all to do for homework okay question d and question e i want you to try for homework question f i will do okay we'll do so 586 so 5 is in hundreds place 8 in tens place and 6 in ones place then 234 so 2 is in hundreds place 3 in tens and 4 in ones now we subtract 6 minus 4 is how much 6 minus 4 is 2 then we subtract the tens 8 minus 3 how much is 8 minus 3 8 minus 3 is 5 and then we subtract hundreds 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 5 2 so 352 is the answer Alright, so do question D and E here for homework. Now we will see the next topic which is there. So next kind of subtraction is regrouping for subtracting ones. So we are going to do regrouping for subtracting ones. So first subtract, no first as usual you write the numbers in their place values below one below other. Then we subtract the ones. Now if you see here in ones we have 2 minus 5, 2 ones minus 5 ones. We cannot take away 5 from 2. So what we do? So change 1 10 of 5 tens to 10 ones. So what we are doing in tens place here I have 5. So this 5 from this 5 tens I will take away 1 10. When I take away 1 10 from that 5 tens 4 will remain. So here 4 will remain. And that 1 10 which I have taken I will take it to ones place. So 1 10 becomes 10 ones. So that 10 ones plus this 2 ones which is already there becomes 12 ones. So we now have 12 ones. So we can subtract 5 from 12. So 12 minus 5 is how much? 12 ones minus 5 ones is 7 ones. So we write 7 here. Okay. Then in tens place I have 4 minus 3. How much is 4 minus 3? 4 minus 3 is 1. So we'll write 1. And then 3 minus 1 which is 2. So we have 217. Okay, so this is how you do regrouping for subtracting ones. So to do regrouping for subtracting ones, we will borrow one ten from the tens place. Alright, let's see a few problems on this. So page number 119. So first subtract the following. One has been done for you. So they have done 573 minus 247 so they have subtracted uh, so we are subtracting the ones first so 3 ones minus 7 ones we cannot take away 7 from 3 so we will borrow 1 10 from the tens place so when I borrow the 7 that is there in tens place becomes 6 and this 3 that is there becomes 13 ones so 13 ones minus 7 ones is 6 ones so I will write 6 here 
then in tens place now I borrowed one from seven so six is left so six minus four is two and in hundreds I have five minus two which is three okay five minus two three so that is three hundred and twenty six now let's do the next problem so we have 465 minus 239 so now what we'll do we'll subtract the ones so 5 minus 9 again i cannot take away 9 ones from 5 ones so we'll borrow one from tens place now in tens place i have six correct so when i borrow one ten from six tens i'll be left with five tens and this 15 5 that is there becomes 15 ones okay so 15 minus 9 so now we'll do 15 ones minus 9 ones so how much is 15 ones minus 9 ones it is 6 15 minus 9 is 6 so we'll write 6 in ones column now in tens place we have 5 tens minus 3 tens so when I do 5 tens minus 3 tens, I'll be left with 2 tens. So I'll write 2 here. Then in hundreds place, I have 4 minus 2. Again, we'll be left with 2. So 226. Okay. So 465 minus 239 is 226. Now C1. 254 minus 28. All right. So ones place. 4 minus 8. Now I cannot take away 8 ones from 4 ones. So we borrow 110 from 5 tens. So 5 tens becomes 4 tens. And this 14, 4 ones that is there becomes 14 ones. So when I do 14 minus 8. So now we do 14 ones minus 8 ones. So 14 minus 8 is how much? It is 6. So 6 ones. So we'll write 6 in ones place. Then 4 minus 2. How much is 4 minus 2? It is 2. Then 2 minus 0 is 6. So 254 minus 28 is 226. Okay, 226. Next one. What is the next question? Next question is 955 minus 636. So here again 5 ones minus 6 ones we cannot do. So we borrow 1 10 from 5 tens. So this becomes 4 tens. And this 5 ones that is there becomes 15 ones. So 15 minus 6 is how much? 15 minus 6 is 9. Okay, so 9 ones. So we'll write 9 here. Then 4 minus 3 is 1 10. And 9 minus 6 is 3. So 955. 955 minus 636 is 319. Okay, so this is how you do regrouping for subtracting ones. Now we'll see what is regrouping for subtracting tens. So let's see an example here. So here they have done 746. They have done 745 minus 462. Okay. So subtract the ones first, the tens next and the then the hundreds. So subtracting the ones, we have 5 ones minus 2 ones. So when I do that, what will I get? I'll get 3 ones. So 5 minus 2 is 3. And then, so we'll write 3 in ones column. Then we subtract the tens. So we cannot take away 4 or 6 tens from four tens so change 100 of 700 to 10 tens so when i take 100 from 7 i'll get 100 correct so that 100 is nothing but it is 10 tens so this 7 becomes 6 here and this 4 that is there becomes 14 tens then we do 14 minus 6 14 tens minus 6 tens i get 8 tens so we'll write 8 in tens column then in hundreds place i have 6 so this 6 Six hundreds minus four hundreds is two hundred. So two hundred and eighty three is the answer. All right. Now let's see uh, problems on this. So five hundred and twenty six minus one forty three. So subtracting ones first. Six minus three is three. Then tens. Two minus four. We cannot do. We cannot take away. 
4 from 2. So what I'll do, I'll borrow 1 from 100. So this 500 becomes 400 and this 2 becomes 12 tenths. So 12 tenths minus 4 tenths is 8 tenths and in 100's place I have 4. So 4 minus 1 is 3. So the answer is 383. So they have done uh, one more for you. 758 minus 274. So subtracting the 1's. In 1's place I have 8 1's minus 4 1's. Which is 4 1's. So 8 minus 4 is 4. And then in 10's place I have 5 minus 7. I cannot do. So what I will do. I will borrow 100 from 100's place. So 7 which is there in 100's place. When I borrow 1 from it, it becomes 6 and in 10th place I have 5. So that becomes 15 tenths. So 15 minus 7 is how much? 15 minus 7 is 8. Okay and 6 minus 2 is 4. So 484. So 758 minus 274 is 484. Then next question. 9 ones minus 469 minus 183. So when I do 9 ones minus 3 ones, how much I'll get? I'll get 6 ones. So we'll write 6 here. Then 6 minus 8, I cannot do. So I'll borrow 1 from 4. So this 4 becomes 3 and this 6 becomes 16. So 16 minus 8 is 8 and 3 minus 1 is 2. So 469 minus 183 is 280. Six. Okay, then D1 835 minus 271. So first we subtract the ones. 5 ones minus 1 1 is 4 ones. So 5 minus 4 1 4. So we'll write 4 here. Then 3 minus 7. So we cannot take away 7 tens from 3 tens. So I'll borrow 100 from 100's place. So this becomes 8 tens becomes 7 hundreds and this becomes 13 tens. So 13 minus 10 is sorry 13 minus 7 is 6. So 6 tens is the answer. Then 7 minus 2 is 5. So 564. Okay. So 835 minus 271 is 564. Then 529 minus 357. Now first we'll subtract ones. 9 minus 7 is 2. Okay, in tens place I have 2 tens minus 5 tens. So we cannot do it. So we'll borrow 100 from 500. So 500 becomes 400 and 2 tens becomes 12 tens. Okay, 12 minus 5 is 7. Okay, and in hundreds I have 4 minus 3 which is 1. So 529 minus 357 is 172. Alright, so the last problem here. You'll try to do it on your own for homework. Okay, so do all the problems for homework. We'll continue in the next class. Thank you.